Here's something that doesn't even really look like a radio, but it is. It's the Columbia Model TR-1000. It was built in 1957 in the United States by the uh, Roland Corporation. This one is very nearly mint. You'd be uh, quite hard pressed to find a better looking example of this model. I don't think this one was used much at all. It's built kind of like a binocular case. And uh, here are the controls. With power jumpered in, uh, the set actually did play when I got it. Although, since I already had it apart anyway, I uh, decided to recap it. City Field will start in Washington, where the Nationals are all over the Philly. But their body language will tell you. The set is supposed to have gear reduction tuning, but unfortunately, the uh, inner shaft is seized to the outer shaft. I haven't been able to get it unstuck. And this isn't one of the ones you can uh, easily disassemble. Well, I don't know what I'd call it easily on the ones you can take apart, but on this one you'd have to pry apart the tuning capacitor frame and I don't want to destroy it. It does work, it's just a little tricky to tune. Because you're kind of, you know, forcing the outer shaft to turn. Get the best of both worlds by saving 75% off select new Kia Sarah phones from Boost Mobile with monthly plans starting at only $40 a month. Metaphorically. The dials are both reverse painted. In the case of the volume dial, it's painted right onto the uh, you know dial itself. And in the case of the tuning dial, uh, it's painted onto the inner dial. I used leather conditioner on this set uh, quite thoroughly before I tried to remove the chassis. I've made that kind of mistake before, you know, where I try to pull the chassis out of a leather set and end up doing some damage, so. Uh, if you get a set like this, be sure to, at the very least, use leather conditioner on the hinges before you try to, you know, take the chassis out. Because you, you generally have to bend the, the, uh, you know, flat pretty hard to get the chassis out. Serial number uh, 5060. There's a little diagram of the you know, six transistors and their functions. This one has six black RCA transistors. It runs off of uh, six AA batteries in a holder here. Now you can see a little repair I did there. Um, whoever riveted the battery holder together on this set did not do a very good job. There was a one rivet that was in there crooked and not making good uh, making a good connection. I think that's why this set got put away, you know, basically unused. It was probably intermittent from the very beginning, and then failed. Now, as a result of the set getting packed away, I have the original box. The uh, serial number doesn't quite match, and unfortunately. Uh, this is not the rawhide color one, but it was pretty common for you know radios to get switched around into the wrong box in stores. And this box displays pretty well. 
whoever opened it opened it on the uh, the wrong end, which in this case is nice because it looks completely unopened when it's standing up. I've never seen another original box for this set. It's a fairly rare radio. Uh, one or two of them come up per year for sale. If I didn't say so already, uh, the set was made in mid-1957 based on the uh, date codes on the parts. Now I actually have another one of these that I've had for a while. Um, but I just could not pass up this this basically uh, new old stock one for thirty bucks, you know. That was just a very good deal. I paid, I think, more than that for this one here, which is pretty beat up. You can see this one saw quite a bit of use. It might be possible to re-dye the leather, but it's a uh, somewhat rough shape. The knobs on this one actually were on the uh, other one. I switched them over, uh, or in the case of the tuning knob, uh, just the inner dial. For some reason the color has kind of bled either into the plastic or the rest of the paint. It's kind of strange. It, it looks like it kind of diffused throughout the plastic. You can actually see it's kind of like the 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 rim of the knob there is actually darkened. I'm not sure how that happened, but in any case, uh, I decided the knobs that didn't have that problem looked better, so switched them over. This one also works. A child arrived just the other day. He came to the world in the usual way, but there were planes to catch and bills to pay. Kind of a sad song when you think about it. There's an earphone jack on the uh, side of the set. Now, on this one, for the purposes of the video, I left out the cardboard cover. See, this one's serial number 4818, so it's actually uh, not that much older than the other one. I don't think too many of these sets were made. The few that I've seen all had fairly low serial numbers. You can see a date code of uh, 720 there. There's probably one on the cap, too. This uh, paper cap. I don't want to roll it around, though, to find out. My other one had a date code of, uh, I think, 702. Something like that. They probably just bought a big bag of those uh, capacitors. You can see the nice socketed RCA transistors on a metal chassis. These RCA transistors are really reliable. I've only seen a few of them fail. Compare that with the little Sylvanias from the same time period. Here's the original leather carrying strap that came with the, the more beat up one that I had. The carrying strap was missing from the basically new one, unfortunately. It might have been a return store item. I've encountered that sort of thing before. My uh, Nordman mini box appears to have been a store return due to a factory defect. I'm going to hang on to this strap though. Eventually I'd like to, you know, find someone who can repair this sort of thing. Maybe a saddle maker. We'll see. Here's that cardboard cover again. Well, thanks for watching. I'll probably sell uh, this guy eventually. It's not high on my priority list to sell, though, since it's a... Uh, Pretty small radio.